Hello everybody, welcome back again to Universe Sandbox. Today I'm going to give you guys a quick tutorial on how to make gas giants that look incredible. So just for the sake of the tutorial, I'm not going to worry about a star or anything, and I'm going to turn on service illumination so we can see what the object looks like. So I'm just going to start by placing a random gas giant. Alright, so when you first start your gas giant will probably look something similar to this. Um, I'm not going to worry too much about the mass and radius or whatever because I'm just going to be focusing on the look. So the way to change the look is in this appearance tab is where you're going to change all of that. I usually start by changing the interface color. So I'm going to think what do I want the main color of my object to be. Um, let's do like a yellowish color for this one. So now the name and I mean it doesn't have an orbit but the orbit line will be that color. So the main colors on gas giants are located in this bands tab. So if you open this little drop down menu it'll show these little circles. To get really cool looking ones you're gonna want a lot of these so let's just click this. Alright let's just make it even. Alright so yeah you're gonna want about this many to make it look really cool and you can see all the colors that were there are left up at the top. So if we're gonna make this one more of a yellow color Usually I like to start with a different color at the poles, so these top and bottom colors should be similar colors, but it looks better if they're not the same as the main color. So what's a color that complements yellow? So I'm thinking more of like a lighter blue or purple color. Something like that at the top, and then we can build on that. All right, and then I'm gonna start introducing like a pale yellow. So really what you want to do here is just kind of make the colors like blend together, but not too much. Um, you'll see what I'm talking about. So really what you want to do is you want to pick like a main color and then pick one or two secondary colors and you want most of it to be that main color and then like every three or four of these circles to be that secondary color. So let's throw in some more the yellow. So for a secondary color, let's do a, maybe an orange. Yeah, we'll do orange. And you can see it's starting to take shape here, but we're just going to keep adding more. I find it's best to not use super bright colors like a lime green or something, because it just looks unnatural and it's also not good to use like super, super dark like black. It can look good in certain applications, but most of the time, it's not going to look that great. And what you can do for these poles is you can take whatever you put as your top one, control C on that, and then go to your bottom pole and paste it. So you can get the same color for the poles. Sometimes it's cool if you start shifting the colors towards the bottom, so you can start with brighter colors up here and shift to darker, which I've kind of already done on accident, but I might just continue that as we go down and get more of these brown colors in here. Alright, then as I get down here, I kind of want it to lighten up a little bit again. Alright. So that's what our gas giant's looking like. You can see all the different bands going down it. So you can see I went from more of a lighter color up here to a darker and I added red in it. Really there's no right or wrong way to do it. The more bands you add, the longer it's gonna take, but the more detailed the colors will be on it. I'll show you some of the other ones I've made. Ones like this, which this one has more of a red color. And then I did a cool thing down here with the pole. And then on this one, I went from, I had a lot of purple and blue colors th throughout. And then I had like a hot pink pole and then like a dark purple pole on the top. So really, you can do whatever colors you want. Um, I wouldn't focus too much on making it look natural because really it's just what you want it to look like. Well, that's going to be it for this tutorial. 
If you have any questions about Gas Giants or any other question about Universe Sandbox, just leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. If you liked the video, please give it a like as it really helps the channel and consider subscribing if you want to see more of my content. Thank you.